This is the second part of how to eventually um, identify the SNPs that are changed at the amino acid substitution. So this relies on using some t different tools. I use Galaxy, a free tool. Um, the first step being you take the FASTA file of the uh, consensus that was used for the mapping and the SNP detection. Seen here, I'm going to upload it um, and then convert it to a tab file, tab delimited file. Um, so we'll have the sequence name and the actual sequence, um, and then go ahead and upload a second file. This would be a table of SNPs, and then merge those in Galaxy. Um, to identify the ones, only the sequences in the reference sequence um, series that has SNPs in them for easy identification and um, later annotation using BLAST. So I'll try to take it through a step-by-step. -step. So this is the, um, the SNP detection table. So there was about 4,400 SNPs identified, and you can see in this far right column we have the amino acid substitution and other statistics. We're going to export this out in a tab to limited file and get it up into Galaxy. This is just a simple FASTA file I uploaded. Um, the SNP table is being uploaded now. What I want to do is I want to convert this. From FASTA to tabular. That's in the queue right here. Okay, so now I want to take the two tabular data formats, the SNP detection table with about 4,000 rows and the, um, the sequence itself, which is about, um, I believe, 45,000 with the actual sequence information and merge them. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work, but what I'm going to try to do is compare two queries. So take the SNP table column one, which is the name of the sequence, against the um, the facet of tabular column one, which should be the same name, consent, something like consensus from contig one underscore one, and find the ones in this data um, or from the uh, original sequences that have SNPs. Let's see if that's going to work. Um, So the, actually, the compare two queries isn't exactly what I wanted. It just said which ones, which rows were found in both, which doesn't really help me. Um, column join still working. Well, there was, appears to be an error, but the join two queries, join two queries under the join subtract group is is actually the right thing. Um, so making sure that the, both sheets had the same. Um, format for this particular column one, either the ones that were SNPs were found or the SNP detection to table, you can see all the statistics, and importantly, what we have now is the FASTA sequence that we can now just annotate those 4,000 sequences um, instead of 45,000 to better understand what the genes are. Then with a simple um, FASTA manipulation, going from tabular to FASTA, 
picking the correct columns, we get a fast set of only the ones net positive, and we can now we can easily annotate these so we see where our sequences are, which um, non-synonymous SNPs, what the functional genes are.